Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I went ahead and broke the plywood down off camera. Um, you've seen me break down sheet goods before. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get the dado stack set up and I'm gonna cut a groove in each one of the ends of the side to accept the top and a dado in the center to take that center shelf. And then we'll look at how we're gonna attach the, the drill holder and see if we can get a carcass glue up. Okay, I got the sacrificial fence set up. I got the dado stack in. I've made a couple of test cuts to make sure it's, it's right for this ply. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that groove in the tops of both side pieces. So I've got the fence reset to take that middle shelf, so we're just going to go ahead and cut that dado now. Yeah, so just a quick dry fit to check reality, make sure everything is, is what I wanted, make sure that these measurements are, are what I needed. And we're all good to go. So now we're going to work on inserting this bottom panel so we can get ready to install that, the drill tray. So during the dry fit, I, I set the piece in here. I got a little bit deeper than what I have in the plans, but I just wanted to get a good look at it. And because I like to leave my bits in my drills, they're already set up and ready to go for most of what I do. Um, I'm going to alter the design and to get away from the plan. And I'm going to set this tray all the way into the back. Um, I'm gonna lose those two drawers, but I don't know that I would have gained a whole lot with the size on those drawers anyway. It also saves me a lot of work on the side. I don't have to cut those. I don't have to build drawers. I don't have to do all that stuff. But ultimately it's because I don't want these sticking out where they're gonna catch or get bumped or just take general wear and tear that they don't need to take. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this all the way down and then uh, then we'll cut a groove to fit it in, in the back panel, so that'll give it some support there. And uh, check it again. So in the long run, I think I'm going to like that a whole lot better. Let's those bits kind of hang out. Sits nice in there. Lots of room for the battery up there. Um, so that's what we're going to go with. So because of the design change, um, I can go ahead and put a solid piece back in it. I've got plenty of three-quarter left, so that's what I'm going to go with. The dado stack still set up in the saw, so it's quick and easy to just go ahead and, and do those dados in the back to hold a whole back panel. So I've still got the dado stack set up in the saw and I'm just going to leave that there and I'll go back to the track saw to cut for this back panel. I want to get a marking on this back panel for where that center shelf is so I can groove that. And I also want a marking for where the drill board goes so I can put a small groove in that as well. And that'll seat everything out and, and give us a little bit more support. So while I've still got the dado stack set up, I'm going to go ahead and cut the dado for that center shelf. Now when I disassemble, I'm still going to have to trim that center shelf back 3 eighths of an inch because I'm only going 3 eighths of an inch in the dado and that's a full depth. So yeah. So I've gone ahead and moved the fence over two and three quarters so I can get the dado in the back for the drill tray and that should be just about right for those batteries to slide right in. So I had to move the fence a little bit more and make an adjustment for the hardwood because the dado stack is set up for this plywood. So I made a test cut off camera. I think we're pretty much set up ready to go. So 
I've got my regular blade back in. I'm just going to take 3 8 off of this center shelf and I did mark it very well as to which side to take off um, and we'll get it fit back in and we'll fit that back up and see how it looks. So again, just another uh, reality check before I commit this thing to glue. So I didn't have a 3 16 extension drill bit to mark for the dowels. So I'm just using the regular drill bit and bringing it through, keeping it straight. And then a little drift pin punch, drift punch. And just giving it a tap so I can mark for those holes. And then we'll set for the uprights. Well guys, there you go. I think this video is starting to get a little bit long, so we'll just go ahead and cut this one off right here. When we get back after it, we'll get those dowels going, we'll get the uh, drawer glides and the shelves put in for the sustainers, um, and, and hopefully get this thing finished up. We're going to put a little trim on this plywood front. Even though it's shop furniture, we'll dress it up a little bit. I've got some scrap maple here we can use for that. So yeah, till next time guys. Thanks for watching and take care.